Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic and today I have a friend mail video to share with you guys. So this package just arrived today, Monday, August 19th, and this is from one of my best friends here, Christine from Christine Scent Scene. I just adore Christine. We have so much in common. We both obviously love wax. And then we both have two young kids. They're about the same age. I'm so thankful for her. She is one of the most generous people I've ever met. And I'm sure you're already subscribed to her channel. But if you're not, she will be linked in the description box as well as in the title of this video. And I'm sure you've probably seen her all over this wax community just gifting wax to people like it's her job. She is so kind. So she sent me a box of Happy Mail and I am so excited to dig into this box and see what's in there. So if you'd like to see what Christine so generously sent to me, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's chat wax. Okay, you guys, so let's hop into this box. First, Christine, thank you so much again for sending me this box. You didn't have to send anything at all. You have the kindest heart. And, you know, I love you and adore you and love our chats and our vent sessions about mom life and working mom life and just all the things. So I know you're extremely busy. You're extremely exhausted <laughs> from being a mom and a wife and an employee and all the things. So thank you so much for thinking of me and taking time out of your already busy schedule to gather these things, take it to the post office. I really, really appreciate it. And I know it was probably a lot of effort that you could have been doing, you know, resting, sleeping, or, you know, having a drink after a long day. So thank you so, so much, Christine. I'm so excited to see what you sent. Okay, so let's just start grabbing here. So the first thing I see is from the candle nurse, and she told me she actually picked this up for me because she is just the sweetest person. I was trying to resist going in for the candle nurse's opening. We all see that that was an epic fail, but Christine, being the wax fairy that she is, picked this up for me. Beach After Dark, which is Emily from the candle nurse's house blend, lavender marshmallows, iced vanilla woods, and sweet lavender. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I got this as a sample in my order because I didn't order it intentionally because I knew Christine had picked it up. You guys, this is the most beautiful lavender scent. Y'all know I love lavender and the ice vanilla woods in here, don't be scared of it. I can smell it, but it's not super like obnoxious or strong or taking over. It's there, but in a perfect amount. This is a very well-balanced blend. I actually went ahead and warmed my sample and it was just gorgeous. It's very different. Her Beach Nights is sweet and it's a little bit more creamy, uh, more of that s'mores vibe in there. And then Lavender Marshmallow, of course, is just a creamy, beautiful, sweet lavender. The Ice Vanilla Woods, like I said, is there, but not obnoxiously there. And then a really sweet, beautiful lavender. It is stunning. It's beautiful lavender, but also unique to lavender blends. Because of the Beach Nights with the Ice Vanilla Woods, two kinds of lavenders, and then I guess three because there's also lavender and Ice Vanilla Woods. I think this is just stunning. And to me, it's an any time of day, any time of year blend. I'm a mood melter. But with the Ice Vanilla Woods, I could see how some people would think this would lean more fall, winter. But I would throw this in any day and just enjoy it so much. That is Purple Pillow Palace. So, Christine... Thank you again so much for ordering that for me. She also included from Super Tarts, Indian Summer, Vanilla Bean, Clementine, and Honey. She, I remember she texted me and she was like, do you like Indian Summer? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, it's not for me. And I was like, did you warm it? And she was like, I can't remember if she said yes or no, but she was like, yeah, I'm sending it to you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I don't think she cared for this one. And it is a little intense. It's very orange and honey. I mean, it's a very sweet honey. And the clementine is also very sweet. The vanilla bean is there, but it's it's not. It's mostly just a really sweet clementine. I like it a lot better on warm because I feel like the creaminess of that vanilla bean comes out a little bit more. But it's really, really pretty. I feel like this is a perfect transitional scent from summer to fall. And I really like this. And I don't care for citrus, orange, clementine, any of those types of scents. 
but I found that I really like them from Super Tarte. Something about the way she blends them, I really enjoy them. So very excited to have more Indian Summer. Thank you so much, Christine. From Salt Mountain Melt, she sent an entire tub of lavender flurries. I love this scent so much, Christine, but I thought you liked it too. Um, I hope that you didn't send me a whole tub of something that you really love. Um, this, the notes are snowflakes and cashmere, lavender, coconut milk, and toasted marshmallow. This is one of my faves from Salt Mountain. It's gorgeous. It's that very sweet lavender coconut milk that I love. The toasted marshmallow really just creams it out. I don't get a whole ton of like a roasty toasty vibe. And then Snowflakes and Cashmere, I'm not sure if that's like a Bath and Body Works dupe, but it just adds a little bit of like a perfume vibe to it. Cashmere really softens things, gives it a cozy, perfumey body care sort of, but also adds like it bougifies it. It just makes it seem like it's so much more sophisticated. Just kind of amps it up a little bit. It's just a cozy, beautiful, calming lavender, gorgeous scent. So I'm thrilled to have more of this. Thank you so much, Christine. That is Lavender Flurries from Salt Mountain Melts. From Sweet Tooth Scent, she sent pistachio pudding cake, vanilla custard, pistachio, honey, almond, and heliotrope. Now, I love pistachio, but I know Christine does not. So she tried a little piece of this and I guess decided it wasn't for her. But this is gorgeous. It's a very sweet, that artificial like bakery pistachio. I love, love, love a really super sweet pistachio. Any kind of pistachio. They're all welcome in my home. Love all of them. But this is the very, very sweet. You really do get that honey. The almond pistachio, it's gorgeous. And then I'm not sure, it's not in the notes, but you do sort of get like that cakey bakery vibe. Just gorgeous, and I feel like this is going to be a banger. The sweet, like almost a little bit cherry leaning pistachios, um, not like the nutty kind or a toasted one, just a really, really sweet, artificial smelling pistachio. Those are normally bangers, and I'm here for it, so I can't wait to warm this. From Lavender and Speckles, she sent super sweet cotton candy frosting, pink sugar, lavender, birthday cake, and cotton candy frosting. Sounds right up my alley. There's two pieces in here, and this will be perfect for my office or a bedroom. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. You really get the pink sugar and the cotton candy frosting really sweeten up that lavender, which I think this was sweet lavender to begin with, and so that's gorgeous. And then you do get that rich, decadent birthday cake. Just a beautiful, sweet lavender bakery, and I am here for it. Love that so, so much. That, again, is super sweet cotton candy frosting from Lavender and Speckles. Next, from Fantasy Wax, this is Dwight. Pistachio pudding cake, sweet bakery dough, and zucchini bread. Sounds right up my alley. Kind of confused why Christine has this one, if she was just kind of trying to experiment with pistachio because I didn't think she liked it. Oh, this is so good. Fantasy Wax Melts has a beautiful zucchini bread. It's very sweet, and I love it. You really do get that sweet bakery dough as well, and then that super sweet, same pistachio, like a super sweet, sweet, artificial smelling pistachio. Gorgeous. Cannot wait. I will definitely warm this very soon. That, again, is Dwight from Fantasy Wax Melts. Thank you, Christine. And then next up from a fame and alchemy. I have never ordered from this vendor, but I've seen, I think Christine and Aubrey haul it. And I'm very intrigued. And I think um, Etta hauls it too. And so her blend sounds super unique and really fun. So um, I'm going to have to try this. And if it works for me, definitely check them out. So this is a serious day, Miami. I'd probably just butchered that, and if I did, I am so sorry. Cinnamon, sugar, butter, coconut flakes, crunchy pistachios, and fluffy vanilla cake. That sounds amazing and like a pastry that I would enjoy. Sorry, I tried to um, 
open all the bags so they wouldn't crinkle but this one's actually in another bag so apologies oh my goodness this is so good i literally get every single note it's a true nutty pistachio definitely get the cake the cinnamon and sugar is a bakery cinnamon and it's very light i can smell it but it's not like a red hot cinnamon butter coconut flakes. I very lightly get the coconut flakes but it's like a vanilla cake with crushed up like fresh pistachios on the top and then like a drizzle of cinnamon sugar butter and a few coconut flakes on the top this is so good Oh, I can't wait to warm this. Thank you so much, Christine. That is such a beautiful scent. Okay, and then she sent me some Scentsy bars and some pods. So she sent me Kukui and Coconut Scentsy pods. Now, Kukui and Coconut is one of my favorite scents for the summer for Scentsy. And I didn't have it in the pods. And Christine also loves this scent. So I was like, you don't send me the pods. And she was like, no, it's already in your box. So thank you so much so so beautiful it smells just like the wax and i can't wait to put this in my scentsy go thank you christine kakui and coconut love it so much she sent me red white and berry pie which i'm very excited i love berry scents and this is just a really nice berry bakery i warmed this on the fourth of july i believe or either that week because we were gone for a little bit of that week to the beach but I definitely warmed this. It's perfect for the 4th of July. Just a very, very sweet berry scent. Thank you so much. She sent me Shoreline Drive. Okay, I had never tried this one. and Somebody was talking it up and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never even heard of it. And she was like, I got you. And so Christine, thank you so much for letting me try one of these. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really pretty. So it's one of those just aquatic fresh scents. It's kind of leaning a little bit citrus to me. There's a little bit of brightness, maybe like a bergamot or a lemon. Very, very pretty. This reminds me of maybe like driving on the Amalfi Coast because everything is citrus and lemons on the Amalfi Coast. And then you have that beautiful water. This is gorgeous. I think Scentsy does Aquatic Fresh really, really well. I found that most of the scents they do that are that in that family, I really, really enjoy. Like By the Sea. What's the other one that they just did this year that I put in my club and it was amazing? Oh, I can't remember. Dark Harbor. I mean, basically like all of those. I just love aquatic fresh from Scentsy. They do a really good job. So that is beautiful. Thank you so much for sending me that to try Christine. She also sent Buzzworthy, which I really love. This is like an almond and honey scent. It is sugared almonds, creamy vanilla, and sweet honey. She wrote the notes in here on this, on the top. This was bring back my bar from July. I really love it. I know this is a controversial bar. It's either love or hate. And I am on the love side. It's just really, really sweet, sweet almond, very creamy, and then a really sweet honey. So it's like a nutty almond drizzled and just like super sweet, fresh honey. It's gorgeous. And this scent is a banger, you guys. It is so strong in my home. So I'm so excited to have more of this. Thank you, Christine. And then last but certainly not least, is one of my favorite Scentsy bars ever. If you watch my channel, you probably already know this is Dark Harbor, another one of the July Bring Back My Bars from this year. And I am obsessed. This is like one of the best smells I've ever smelled. And the only thing that I can say about this bar that's a little negative is that I wish it were stronger. It's a light to light medium for me and I want it to be just like a banger. So I'm hoping with some cure time it will get a little stronger. The notes are lime, blue-green mint, ocean lavender, and mysterious amber. And this is just the most beautiful aquatic scent. That amber and the lavender kind of, and even the mint, it gives it kind of a darker vibe. Almost like a storm. It's aquatic, but I feel like there's like, you know, there's a storm brewing and you can just smell it in the air. Or night on the water. It's just really, really beautiful. 
the combination of these scent oils is just something special. I am obsessed with it. And I bought a couple more bars. I have, I think, two or three in my club. I am full-blown obsessed with the scent. So, Christine, thank you so much for that. We'll definitely put it in everything else to good use. So, Christine, thank you again so much for thinking of me and sending me this beautiful box. I am so thrilled. You didn't have to send anything at all, but you do it because you love to share and you love to share your joy of wax. I feel like you just are so great at curating boxes that me and everyone else you send them to in the community, just our favorites, you know, our scents you know that we'll enjoy. And I really appreciate that. So again, if you're not subscribed to Christine, go on over to her channel. It will be linked in the description box down below and in the title. So just go on over and subscribe. If you've tried any of these scents before, please let me know and let me know how they do for you on warm. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. Please don't forget to like and comment, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you all on my next video very soon. Bye.